Hey Bun, so today I just wanna talk about my favorite jobs in Final Fantasy XIV, the jobs that I just keep on coming back to, that I can't wait to play, that I love a lot of things about them. Uh, and I'm gonna be picking one job from each role. So tank, healer, melee, physical range, caster, I will pick my favorite from each one of those categories. But I need to add that just because it's my favorite doesn't mean it's the best and <laughs> doesn't mean for sure uh, that it's the best for you. Okay, this is gonna be an extremely subjective video. Video. <laughs> this is just in my uh, personal preferences. But maybe by me talking about my favorites, I will inspire you to try them out yourself. Maybe you'll end up liking them as much as I do, right? Uh, before I get into listing them off, I just wanna say like some general things that I look for in a job. I really like easy jobs, <laughs> okay? I do not like to hurt myself thinking. Uh, I like to make life as easy as possible. Um, and it's not because uh, I'm dumb, okay? It's because <laughs> I'm streaming. So um, I'm multitasking a lot of times. So that's that's the real reason why <laughs> I tend to go for the easiest job possible. But also aesthetics. Aesthetics is extremely important. And uh, actually, I really struggled with putting this list together because there are some jobs that I love the gameplay of, but I think that their glamours are very, very bad. Or there's jobs that like I love the look of, but I think their gameplay is awful. It just bores me to tears and I cannot stand to play it. So I've had to make some difficult choices. <sighs> like, who's gonna win, my, my brain or my heart? Gameplay brain? Or glamour heart. <laughs> so that's for the tank category. My favorite tank in the game is, oh, it's really hard because it's actually a toss up for me between warrior and paladin, but I gotta go with my heart on this one. It's, it's paladin because paladin is the job that I started the game with. It's the first job I ever got to max level when I was in Heaven's Sword. And by the way, that was back when paladin was not doing so good and the damage was really bad. And I was new, so I was also really bad and I needed my chocobo to go with me everywhere. Like to any leaves that I did, any fates that I did. Like I always needed my chocobo to carry me <laughs> anywhere. Paladin how much you've grown over the years. Now it's uh, got respectable damage. There's a ton of self-healing now that Paladin is able to do. And I know that some people still love to complain that Paladin is like, you know, on the lower end of the pack when it comes to damage for the tanks. But let me remind you that the first world first, the first ever world first Dragon Song Ultimate has been cleared. It was done with a Giga Chad Paladin in the party. So also Paladin is the main character, okay? I mean, look at all the jobs. I think it's pretty obvious Paladin's the main character. That's the character that looks best in cutscenes. Like, what is a warrior of light? A light warrior? That's Paladin. I went with my heart on this one. I love Paladin. If I went with my head, honestly, probably would have gone with warrior because I think the rotation is a little bit more exciting. <laughs> but the problem is I have never seen an axe that I liked in Final Fantasy XIV, except Fool Killer but that's not enough to compete at like paladin level for the glamour contest. Like paladin is just so, so much better uh, in general. Glamour options and aesthetic and everything else. And also paladin can summon lightsabers now. So it's definitely gotten a lot better and, and more exciting to play. Hey, uh, why did the paladin go to the moon? <laughs> for, the, for the crater good. My favorite healer in the game is White Mage, with Astrologen as a close second. Cause I love the busyness of Astrologen. I love the aesthetic of Astrologen. I love stars and knowing where Bigfoot is. <laughs> That's a really old reference. But White Mage is, I think, more in line with what I have traditionally played in MMOs. I always love playing Druid or Shaman and WoW, and I feel like White Mage really captures the tree hugger vibe. So I think it does that better than other jobs. I like I like the nature stuff. And uh, I love the Pajali, they're super cool. The White Mage quests delve into their lore a good bit. You don't hear about them much outside of the White Mage quest. And you do get a free unicorn, uh, which, is pretty neat. Actually, think about thinking about it. Pajali have horns, and unicorn is like a Pajali horse when you think about that. I wonder if Viera were 
able to be born as Pajali. Would your horns like poke at your ears like that? That would probably hurt. But anyway, you cannot talk about White Mage without mentioning Blood Lily. Blood Lily, Lily is now king again. It is now a good button to press after recent changes. And it is the most infamous healer attack. It is the quintessential I'm a healer but button. Especially now in PvP where that's another reason I really love White Mage. I just ranked up to Crystal as a White Mage. And it is probably why other people really hate white mage because it is extremely strong in crystal and conflict i've been having a, a really good time blasting people with my death laser <laughs> it's just a lily op it's just a lily bit op <laughs> what were they thinking it's like what if your healer was also bahamut <laughs> that's that is what white mage pvp is like but aside from pvp uh it is really easy to learn it's fun. It has a lot of panic buttons and um, you get wings, which don't allow flight. But knowing me, that's probably for the best. Just poof, fly off, off the arena. Uh, also, Lily Bell as of Inwalker. So you can cast it and say, you can say, uh, <laughs> you can say get, get Bell soon. My favorite melee is, of course, Reaper. That is the job that I have been maining since the start of Endwalker. I did the Savage tier on it, and I fell in love with Reaper at the media tour to the point that I kind of forgot to test the other jobs until, like, the last second <laughs> because I was just obsessed with playing Reaper. But the thing about Reaper is it is super evil job compared to the other jobs. Like, you're letting a Void Scent eat people's souls or, like, nibble on them a little bit while you are slicing them to bits with a big ass scythe. Like there was actually a quest I did where the quest was you need to beat up on some law parents, like just to teach them a lesson. Like don't hurt them, they don't kill them, but just teach them a little lesson. That's the point of the quest. And I legitimately felt so bad <laughs> because I'm like, I just cast a guillotine on this little group of Lopras, and then I let a demon possess my body and literally eat the little baby bunny souls. Okay. But I do love the way the gameplay works. You know, I love the buildup of resources. It's um, very, very satisfying, so long as you are no killing random people. <laughs> just killing, like, anyone. If not bunnies. It's like uh, you have one resource and then you change it to another one that's a little better. You can do that and then it'll help you get into another, use other buttons that are a little better than that. And then you transform and then you've got like, you can move it really fast and you're hitting very hard and very fast. My only gripe with Reaper is that I thought that we would get an emote that is similar to what you see in the Reaper trailer, the teaser trailer. Like where the avatar comes out of the shadows and like curls the claw around your, I guess there is, this is probably fanfic for that. My favorite caster is actually Summoner. Summoner, you know, I guess also sentimental because that was the first DPS job that I ever leveled. And this was way back before you could even summon Bahamut. Like, back in my day, I was out in the Churning Mist doing Moogle quests with my Titan Eggy out and he was tanking. And we were like, hey, Imhitra. Hey, Mitra, can we have primal summons? And she's like, we got primals at home. I think actually you can still use them uh, before level 90. But I love summoner because it's the only job that lets you summon a really nice booty like on demand. You can, you always can just press a button and you got booty delivered to you. And um, of course I'm talking about Titan. <laughs> I'm imagining his Tinder profile is like, you ready to hit rock bottom. <laughs> But yeah, Summoner has been streamlined a lot. Uh, you don't have to do anything in particular to earn the gems that you use to summon stuff. And I feel like that kind of makes the rotation feel a little bit samey. Like, I don't feel like there's a lot of build up towards exciting payoff moments, um, but it did just have a major redesign. And so I think that as a base framework to build upon, it's amazing, but, uh, and I really enjoy it but it does feel like it needs a little something. I think a lot of summoners do feel like that right now. Hey, why is the summoner such a safe driver? Because he always uses the car buckle. He buckles up. Hey, why, why, why doesn't the wind primal like flirting? Uh, well, she, she just thinks it's all a bit crude. So now that you've lost a few brain cells, ready to play the easiest job in the game.
God, I'm, I'm, I'm half kidding. Because, but I, it is easy. It's, I do think it's the easiest job in the game. Um, but it's still my favorite caster. It's still one of my favorite jobs overall. I did main Red Mage back in Stormblood, but I kind of just got bored with it. And I prefer the summoner aesthetic a lot. Like, it's, again, we're here with the nature spirit stuff. We got, you know, fire, wind, earth. And it to me, it reminds me of Shaman. And I loved playing Shaman um, in ages past in WoW. And I really wish I would be good at Black Mage, but I'm just, it's too painful for me. <laughs> you need to be a special kind of person to play Black Mage at a high level, okay? Uh, that's not me, mostly because I cannot sit still to save my life. I cannot even do this video. I have never been able to do a video in which I was able to sit in the same position the whole time. I'm constantly shifting. Like right now, I actually have my leg up. I'm like moving around. I'm like <laughs> doing all kinds of stuff during, I cannot sit still. And that is not a good trait for a black mage. However, uh, it's a great trait for the next category. <laughs> what a perfect segue to the next category, physical range. So this will come as a surprise to nobody that I love dancer. This is my favorite job in the whole game. And uh, it's the job that I cleared T on. It's the job that I would like to someday, perhaps someday, uh, maybe attempt the new ultimate on as well. Uh, that's the job with the three dash buttons. That's three chances to get to the right spot because you weren't paying attention. Like this is the perfect job if you happen to have ADHD, like I unfortunately do. The mobility of Dancer is completely absurd because nobody else in the game has this kind of mobility. Only you have that, which means that the fights are designed for everyone else who was so much slower than you. So you are zipping around at supersonic speed. Absolutely nothing is slowing down your rotation. You've got sprint on top of your three dashes. It's like that episode of Star Trek, <laughs> the original series where, okay, so there were these people on the ship who were living in accelerated time. So there was like clues and hints that maybe some other creatures are around, but they were actually moving so fast that it was like they were living in another place. They were living like in another reality that was on top of the one that everybody else was in because they were just so fast. And that is what it's like to play dancer. Everybody else is playing by their rules of time. You get to play by your own rules because you, nobody can keep up with you. It's just impossible. So uh, I love it. It also has gorgeous spell effects, it has really pleasing, nice sound effects, which are based on percussion instruments and it has some of the best glamours in the game. And uh, by the way, we're getting swords soon, apparently, <laughs> judging by the uh, weapons design contest. There's uh, the fan designed dancer weapons like swords you can carry around. Sometimes you'll get some really nice big numbers on a tech step finish or a standard step finish. And that always feels nice. And of course, you know, buffing the party is good and all that. I mean, there's a lot of different reasons why people might love dancer. But for me, I really think that it comes down to just being a speedy, speedy bun. Really? Hey, God, I really, I, I, I shouldn't even say this one, but I don't want to write another joke. So, all right. So why... <laughs> Why are monks so good at dancer? Because, because, because they already got all the chakrams. On that note, it's probably best to end the video here. We did cover all the categories already. Uh, so let me know what you think about my choices, my favorites in the comments section. You might have noticed I really... I haven't tried to give you like a comprehensive analysis of the strengths and weaknesses of every job. I really just wanted to gush about my favorite jobs and what what I most like about them, um, what draws me to those jobs. I wonder if you agree, if there are other jobs that uh, maybe I'm overlooking. Like, do you think that there's a job that I just haven't given it the like the time the chance that it deserves are you gonna pitch a case to me in the comment section like try to get me to love your job more uh, i'm listening i'm listening i'm reading and listening so uh, just let me know in the comment section down below if you like this video please consider supporting the channel on patreon or on twitch your uh, support is really helping me a lot right now so uh, again thank you to everyone who is doing that because i'm currently still unable to get uh any any payouts from YouTube. Like, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to until 
I'm settled again. So I'm still kind of on the road here, but you can also support the channel for free just by clicking the subscribe button or by sharing this video with your fellow warriors of light. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.